All right, what's happening, my dudes? We're doing a knife review today. We're checking out the Finch Buffalo Tooth. This is a very unique knife, a very, very cool knife, and we're going to get all into it here in a sec. First of all, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and push the button. You'll be glad you did. And also follow me on Instagram at duties underscore daggers. That way you're all up to date on channel news and info, and you'll see some cool photos uh, as well over there. This is a crazy knife. <laughs> this is a Finch knife. Uh, if you're not familiar with Finch, uh, they do designs like these. Um, you know, kind of some uh, classic slip joint type elements, uh, at least looks wise, uh, meshed with more modern elements like a frame lock or a bolster lock, you know, titanium clips, flipper tabs, kind of some modern uh, amenities but the whole aesthetic of the knife is a little bit more kind of uh you know classic which i really really love uh, finch has done a, a very good job melding those two worlds together to create um, just a really unique awesome looking knife so first of all let's look at some specs here on the buffalo tooth as you can see it's a very thick well i guess thick's not the right word it's not that thick it's very wide is what i meant to say very wide, um, but looks are kind of deceiving because it actually is fairly long as well. We're looking at about six and seven eighths of an inch, almost seven inches uh, overall length. We have a blade length of two and seven eighths, almost three, and a cutting edge about two and three quarters. We have a closed length, almost exactly four, and then I don't normally do this, but let's measure the width as well this way. Let's see, at the widest point, it's almost an inch and a half um, wide this way. As far as thickness, it's about three-eighths of an inch. So it's a wide boy. Not necessarily a thick boy. It's a wide boy. <laughs> so the general construction of this thing is all titanium. Um, we have some really beautiful uh, jigging here in the titanium. This is typically where Finch would put um, you know, their inlays, either micarta or I've seen some wood. Um, but in this case, uh, in particular, they have, you know, it's, there's no inlay, it's just you know, a different texture on the titanium, um, the, uh, the jigging here. There are different versions of this knife. Uh, there is one with wood, one with uh, micarta too, I believe. Uh, but this is the all titanium one. Now a lot of the other, I think all of the other Finch knives are bolster locks, meaning that uh, they're basically frame locks, but this inlay here covers up a lot of the lock bar. So the only part of the lock bar that's showing is up here in the bolster. That is not the case on the Buffalo Tooth because there's no inlay. So you can see that whole lock bar. But since the knife is so wide, you don't really accidentally put pressure on it with your other fingers. So uh, this is one frame lock where I have never had a problem um, you know, putting extra pressure on that lock bar when I'm trying to open or close it because it's just it's so wide. Your fingers have other places they can go and where they naturally fall. We're looking at a blade steel of 154 cm, which is, I believe, what they use on all of their knives. We have a milled titanium pocket clip really like this one. Um, Finch uses uh, titanium clips on all of their knives, but they are all slightly different. You can see here on the Harvester, it's a bit different. And here on the Holiday, it's a bit different still. Very cool. They don't just have one clip, you know, for all their knives. They, they mix it up. They make the clip specifically for that knife, which I really like. Um, let's talk about the blade here. It's, uh, it's wide spear point blade flat ground um, pretty darn thin at the edge not the thinnest thing I've ever felt but man it is really thin um, yeah it's actually very thin um, so this thing is gonna slice uh, very very well on the website it says that the finish on the blade is a, a brushed satin finish now this looks to me like a hand rub satin um, I don't know if the brushing is done by hand or not. Nevertheless, it looks 
fan freaking tastic, man. This is some of the best satin finish um, I've ever seen. You can see the uh, the lines are going this way instead of how they usually go, which is this way. Um, so it, hopefully that's coming across in the camera. Uh, it just looks really, really freaking cool. Very, um, it just looks premium. It looks like someone took a lot of time to to do this. Let me show it to you on my holiday. It might be a little easier to see those lines I'm talking about. See what I mean, how they're going this way. Really, really nice. Finch does that on all of their blades that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, we have a little nail nick up here, which I wouldn't probably ever use, but you can. You can definitely use it to open up your knife. Um, I think it's probably just more for looks, you know, kind of giving it that more classic look. Um, and I think it looks perfectly fine up there. There's no swedge or anything. Um, the edges are knocked down here on the spine until it gets to around here. Um, pretty useful blade shape. I mean, you know, if you want to get to the tip, you do have to kind of lift your wrist up a bit, but that's okay. Um, this knife ergonomically is fantastic. <laughs> you might not think that looking at it, um, but this thing really fills out your hand really, really well. You can see that I almost can't get a full fist around it. I can touch my fingers to my palm, but barely. Um, so it actually fills out your hand really, really well. You can get four fingers on it very comfortably. Um, and very, very good thing about it is there's a choke up spot. You can see the flipper tab has a bit of a flat area here with jimping. So how I hold the knife is right up here like this. And man, this feels very good to grip the knife like this. You want to put it to work as soon as you get it in your hand like this. Um, very, very comfortable. Uh, my thumb rests up here, or you can do the hammer grip down here um, if you're, you know, bearing down on something. Um, really comfortable. <laughs> the edges aren't super knocked down. They are nicely rounded, um, but there's nothing sharp on this knife. The pocket clip, you know, since it's a milled, it's a milled pocket clip, you don't have the swoop coming up and poking your palm. Um, nothing's poking me on this knife at all. Um, yeah. I really like how it feels. It feels like uh, like no other knife I've ever felt. And that's because it is unlike every knife I've ever felt. Um, let's talk about the action. The, uh, the detents on all of these Finch knives that I've checked out so far are fan-freaking-tastic. Snappy. The click of it... Um, when you close, very pronounced, which I love. I just love that sound of it clicking shut. Very snappy for, you know, this is a pretty heavy blade. For it being so heavy, it pops out very fast. And on the holiday, since it's a much lighter blade, it flies out even faster. Not really fall shut on the holiday because it is a light blade. But on the buffalo tooth, absolutely fall shut. Give it a little shake, it's going away. Oh yeah. We have the, the uh, Finch logo here. It's actually uh, glow in the dark and what's covering it, it almost looks like glass, but it is actually sapphire crystal. That's covering up that logo and um, keeping it nice and flat. Um, sapphire is very, very scratch resistant, very, very tough. Um, nothing's going to hurt this thing. Um, it actually, on the other Finch knives, they glow green. Uh, but on this one with the titanium, um, it glows blue, actually. It's a little bit harder to see than the green, but I'll see if I can get it um, charged up here for you. Not a super utilitarian purpose for having these glow, um, but it is kind of just a, gives you a, you know, it's a cool factor. You can kind of see it in there, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's pretty bright out here, but it does glow blue. I'll show you on this one. It's easier to see. 
I just think it's a really cool touch, you know. Um, kind of reminds you of a watch in a way. There you go. I can see it now. Very cool little, just, just really good touch. There's jimping all the way around this flipper tab. It's not sharp jimping though, but it does grip you. Um, it's not an uncomfortable flipper tab at all. In fact, it's uh, it's quite comfortable. Man, <laughs> this thing is just really freaking cool. I want one so bad. Um, this is not mine. It was lent to me uh, by my buddy. But I will get one of these one day. Um, I absolutely will. Uh, because this is... I mean, it's just such a cool knife to have in the collection. It's unlike any other knife you have. You know, um, not only is it just look cool and it's a great conversation piece but it's comfortable to grip it's really thin behind the edge it's going to cut really well you know there's there's a lot of aesthetic value here but also a lot of utilitarian value as well just a really cool mix of of a useful well-built knife with just a really freaking cool looking knife man finch uh they just, they, they're nailing it. Uh, they, they have been nailing it. Um, I didn't own a Finch knife until recently, uh, but I was always kind of curious about them um, until, uh, until I, I uh, was gifted the, this holiday here. Um, and it, it blew my mind when I opened it up. It really did. Um, these things are made extremely well. The tolerances seem all very tight. Everything's just, it's, it's clicky, it's snappy. Nothing's loose at all. Um, all three of these knives, Finch knives, have uh, no um, movement, no uh, play in the blades when they're locked out, no pivot lash, nothing. Just, just well built, solid freaking knives. Um, this one's expensive. I think it's a little over two hundred bucks for the all titanium, and the other ones um, are pretty expensive as well. Definitely over a hundred bucks. Um, but in my opinion, it is absolutely worth the money. You're getting a, an extremely well-built knife. Um, you know, they've thought of all the details, you know, all the little things that would bother you if they weren't there. They're all here. And, um, yeah, just really good stuff. This is the Buffalo Tooth by Finch Knives. And that's about going to do it. But first, I almost forgot, we have to do size comparisons. I should really should do that in the beginning of the video. Let's throw it up against the other finches I have here. The Holiday and the Harvester. Obviously much, much fatter than those. Let's grab the old paramilitary too. There she is. Let's grab the... CBV Praxis. It's a stubby little dude. It's a little stubber. What else? How about the uh, Benchmade Griptilian? There you go. How about what else here? Let's do the uh, CBV Altus. And last two. Let's do the good old Rat 2. The old R2-D2 and the um, Petrified Fish Beluga. How about that? Here's your size comparisons. Um, I really recommend this knife if you can afford it. If you can't um, and you have a, a decent knife budget, I would recommend getting one of these. Uh, I really love this holiday. Really excellent Warncliffe blade. Extremely pointy. Very, very thin at the tip and at the edge. Um, Full grip on this thing, choke up spot, incredible action. Really love this thing. The harvester as well. This is a really nice blade shape. Really good for you know bracing your pointer finger up here, getting a lot of pressure down on that tip. This one has a false shut uh, action because the blade's a little heavier. Man, they're all just so good. They really are. Um, I, I hope to get more finches in the collection eventually. I, I, I'm a fan. Um, I've been converted to to Finch knives, to the Finch knives uh, 
fan group. I, I'm, I'm officially in. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.